click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about D block elements. In FIJC and in SYGC, we have discussed about the S block elements, P block elements, and now here we are going to talk about D and F block elements. But starting with the first one, that is what are D block elements? This is what I'm going to talk about with the help of the definition and the electronic configuration. So now let us understand this one. So friends, talking about the D block elements, that is the elements in which the last electron enters in the d orbital of the penultimate shell that is n minus 1 d orbital where n is known as the ultimate shell and n minus 1 is known as the penultimate shell and that also in d orbital so where n is known as the outermost shell are those elements in which the last electron enters in the n minus 1 d orbital they are known as d block elements so based on that it has a common or it has a general electronic configuration for the outermost shell and that is that is the general outer electronic configuration for d block element is n minus 1 d orbital which consists of that is more than 1 to 10 electrons and talking about the next one that is the ultimate shell that is the last shell it will consist of that is s orbital it can occupy that is 1 to 2 electrons so this is what i'm going to talk about with the help of an example so now let us understand the first d block element that is scandium so friends i'm going to talk about the position of the d block element also so here basically we have got to know that is the d block element it starts with the fourth period and it starts with scandium and this scandium is belonging to the third group so suppose if i'm talking about the scandium and this scandium till zinc from ytterbium till cadmium so this all are nothing known as the d block elements but now let me give you an example related to the scandium that is how we can write the electronic configuration and why scandium is the d block element so this is what i'm going to talk about with the help of this example so friends talking about scandium so scandium has an atomic number of 21 so on that basis we could write the electronic configuration and the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and this one would be 3d1 so if you talk about this that is the last electron it enters in the 3d orbital where 4 is nothing but it is known as the fourth shell or it is known as the principal shell that is the fourth shell and talking about n minus 1 so n minus 1 in this case it would be 4 minus 1 that is 3 that means the last electron enters in the penultimate d orbital and that makes the last electron which enters in the d orbital and that's the reason this scandium is known as a d block element so therefore this was one of the example that is what i have discussed over here so as to identify which one would be a d block element or which one would be a different block element so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video there are many videos that is what i'm going to cover on this d block element but that's it for now so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much